hi and welcome back in today's video we are going to be looking at how to access an ec2 instance on windows via ssh we are going to look at it in two scenarios one of which when creating the ec2 instance a .pem file was downloaded and the second scenario is when a .ppk file was downloaded all right so we are basically going to, to do it in uh, some three phases one of the phases is that we are going to install uh, put a client on our uh, windows machine then uh, we are going to start with accessing the ec2 instance using uh, the dot pem key pair and the second scenario is that we are going to access the ec2 instance using the dot ppk file so both .pem and .ppk are created when creating uh, the EC2 instance. And we are going to see that shortly. So let us first of all install Putty on our machine. So the first thing that you need to do is to access uh, your browser. So in here, you can just search for install Putty. So Putty will play the same role as the Rhinox terminal we are going to see how to to use it so just search for install putty then we have putty.org here just click on that so on this page i'm going to just click on this link then i'm taken to a third party uh, website so in here just select the one that aligns well with the architecture of your windows machine so i am going to install this first one in my case right in less than a minute our file has been downloaded so just click on that file right so just click on next next and confirm install just confirm you don't need to view the readme file finish all right so i believe put has been installed on our pc so the next thing will be accessing uh the aws dashboard so if you already have an ec2 instance and you already have your either .pem or .ppk then you can't skip this bit because for now we want to quickly see how to create an instance but the main goal is seeing how to access the instance on windows using the ssh method so quickly i'll log into the aws dashboard once in the aws dashboard just search for ec2 click on this option then in here we can simply click on launch instance so i give my instance a name let me just name it pem demo then i'll select uh, an ami ubuntu i'll make use of the t2.micro then for the key pair i need to create one so i will name it pem demo then for the key pair type i'll move with rsa then i'll move with dot pem then create key pair so as you note it will download the key pair in our machine then i do not need to worry about the network settings because our main goal is to uh, demonstrate how to access it using the dot pem then uh, just leave everything else as it is and click launch instance right the instance has been created just go back to the instance so this is our instance click on the instance id we want to we want to connect and um, basically if we are on rhinox these are the instructions on how to access it using ssh but then we are on windows so this process may not apply on windows or it's a wrong process to go about changing the the file permission and uh, again uh, running uh, this command so the easiest of all is if you have been presented with a dot pem file say this was created with a name of accessing it from a rhinox machine but now you have a windows machine then uh, there is a workaround on how to go about it so that you are able to access it on a windows machine so we are going to use which is a sub application of the 
put a application that we installed to convert the .pem file that we have downloaded to a .ppk file, which again, we are able to access our instance on SSH from our Windows machine. So what you need to do, I just need to click on the Windows button. So there is this application, put a, put a gen, just click on that. So in here, I am going to load this. And in the downloads, I need to search for uh, the file that we just downloaded here, the .pem file. I just need to enable here all files so that I am able to view uh, the .pem file. So just select that, open. It has been imported, right? So the next thing will be saving it as a private key. So just click on save private key button. Then confirm. You just want to proceed without setting a key phrase. We do not need that for now. Right? So still in the download, let me just name it pemdemo.ppk. So even if you do not import uh, the extension, it will be saved as a .ppk file. So just click on save. Right? So we believe a .ppk file has been generated from our .pem file. So the next thing is now working with putty. Right? So in here, I need to import the host name or the IP address. So back to the EC2 instance. Let me just go back here. So we have this public IPv4, right? So we are able to use this public IPv4 address on this field here. Alternatively, let me just duplicate this. Click on connect. So alternatively, we have this public DNS we, that we can also use. So let me work with the public IPv4, right? Once that has been set, uh, we need to navigate to this section. We need to work with the connection, SSH, then click on expand auth. Then we have credentials. Right, so this is credentials. So what we need to do, we need to, to browse for the PPK file that we have just converted. So just click on browse. Then we have this, this should be the PPK file. Right, then open, right. The next thing, go back to sessions. Then in here, just click on open. Then just click on accept. All right, something you need to, to note. Let me see if it's here. Instance connect. All right, so you can just navigate to this section and check on the username here. Usually, if you select the Ubuntu image, then the username will be Ubuntu. So depending with the image that you selected for your instance, just check for the username here. All right, so just go back here, type in Ubuntu, press enter. And we see we now have access to our EC2 instance. So we have done this using the .pem file that was probably given to us by our admin. So in case anyone requires you to access an EC2 instance from your Windows machine, you can request for a .pem file, the public IPv4, or the DNS, and the username. So once you have the three pieces of information, then you are able to go about accessing the instance. Basically, were it for accessing it from a Linux machine, then all you needed was to just execute these commands and you will gain the access to that EC2 instance. All right? So the next method of accessing the EC2 instance is by directly using the .ppk file. So when you are creating an EC2 instance and you suppose you will be accessing it from a Windows machine, then you can decide instead of downloading a .pem key pair, you download it as a .ppk key pair. Therefore, you do not have to go all through these processes converting the .pem to a .ppk and then uh, importing it on your putty 
uh, client all right so very quickly i'm going to do a demo on how to go about uh, provisioning an ec2 instance and downloading a dot ppk file instead of a dot pem file all right so i'll exit from this back to our aws account i'll just search for ec2 i'll launch an instance here then let me name it ppk so for the image let me work with a slightly different image i'll go with amazon linux then for the instance i'll work with the t2.micro so for the key pair we need to create one so i'll work with let me name it ppk so in here since we want to access the instance from our windows machine and uh, in this case using putty so we are going to select dot ppk then proceed to create a key pair then we are going to leave everything else as default then click on launch instance so in this case if you are doing it to set up uh, your production server just ensure to set everything else that you need in terms of network and every every other settings that you need to adjust right just click on launch instance right then let me go back to the instances so in here we have two instances for now but we are interested in the ppk instance just click on the id right so in here let me just click on connect and uh, i'll come back here to identify the username this is the username when using the amazon linux image a look for putty right so in here we can provide either the public ipv4 address or the public dns that uh, we identified here so in this illustration let me work with the public dns let's see how it goes so i'll do that then remember the port the ssh port is 22 unless it has been changed but the default one should be 22 then the next thing we navigate to connections ssh auth credentials and then we browse for our ppk file do that then click on open just click on accept right so for the for the user we have mention of ec2 user press enter and we see we now have access to our ec2 instance on ssh so in a nutshell if you suppose you'll be accessing your ec2 instance on windows and preferably on putty then ensure to create a key pair in form of a dot ppk but if you want to be flexible enough and not to have as many restrictions as we might have seen just download a dot pem key pair which you are able to change to a dot ppk whenever required and that's it we have been able to access an ec2 instance on windows if you found this video helpful be sure to like the video share it with your network and also subscribe to our youtube channel bye for now